Which, hello, Mouse fans. Before I start this boo review, just to let everyone know, my friend, a friend that I met in 2019, Usman Hashmi, in the Cars icon, just lost interest on me, which, which, my reaction on people losing calling me out, that's fine with me. I'm fine with that. I can't just, because I have to handle being blocked, so. Anyways, Mouse fans, this is going to be a movie review on a Happy Madison film, and that is The Animal. Now, the plot of The Animal goes like this. So this is going to be a long plot, so sorry if I spoil it. He might not look like much, but, but what is inside that counts? Comic genius Rob Schneider? TV survivor? When evidence clerk Marvin Manage answers a 911 call of a burglary in progress, his dream of one day becoming a top seems to coming true. But a, but a freak at car accident and routes to crime leaves Martin and his dream a shattered mess. When a Martin awakens, he wakes later that he finds the insert secretly used animal to rebuild his broken body, energized by his um, improved parts. Marvin achieves instant fame as a super cop until his animal and so it started to take over his body at all the wrong times. And that's what Rob Schneider's The Animal is about. So what I think of The Animal, I thought this was like a pretty funny guilty pleasure in my opinion. Yeah, I thought this movie was like a guilty pleasure. Yeah, no kidding. I thought this movie was like a guilty, funny guilty pleasure. Because y'all know guilty pleasure means... It's laughably bad, like something you enjoy while other people find weird. Yeah, really it is. But the humor itself is pretty funny because it's a Happy Madison film. If you pay close attention to the back of the case... Where is it? Oh, here it is. It's a Happy Madison film. Yeah, the humor itself gets a little funny. I mean, there was a couple stupid moments in this film, but... I honestly didn't mind that. Because it's happy, because it's... A Rob Schneider film. It's a Rob Schneider film. So. And yeah. Um, this is actually one of the first Sony DVDs. To use the Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment logo. After A Knight's Tale. And yeah. I mean this is actually one of Rob Schneider. I don't care what the critics say on this movie. I mean. This is actually an, an underrated Rob Schneider film. In my opinion. Because I know. Some of Rob Schneider's movie was bad, like Norm of the North. Yeah, that piece of crap, Norm of the North. Like, Rob Schneider was awful in Norm of the North. He did terrible in Norm of the North. And, and the humor, like, like on the DVD, he said he wasn't much of a man. Now he's not much of an animal. Yeah, true. And here's what the DVD looks like here. Front, spine, the back, disc. The running time's kind of not that long. It's like 83 minutes. So. And Adam Sandler actually made a cameo in that film. No kidding. I saw Adam Sandler made a cameo in that film. You know what? Yeah, Adam Sandler made a cameo in that film. Even though he's a producer because it's Happy Madison. So overall, the animal gets a 7.5 out of 10. It's a pretty funny film, in my opinion, and a funny guilty pleasure. Alright, Mouse fans, this is going to be my review. This has been my movie review on The Animal. Subscribe to my channel, triple like on this video, and I'll see you guys when I do my next review coming up soon.